In immunology, the CD3 T cell co-receptor is a protein complex and is composed of four distinct chains. In mammals, the complex contains a CD3I cube chain, a CD3I chain, and two CD3I micron chains. These chains associate with a molecule known as the T cell receptor and the I paragraph chain to generate an activation signal in T lymphocytes. The TCR, I paragraph chain, and CD3 molecules together comprise the TCR complex. Structure The CD3I cubed, CD3I, and CD3I micron chains are highly related cell surface proteins of the immunoglobulin superfamily containing a single extracellular immunoglobulin domain. Containing aspartate residues, the transmembrane region of the CD3 chains is negatively charged a characteristic that allows these chains to associate with the positively charged TCR chains. The intracellular tails of the CD3 molecules contain a single conserved motif known as an immunoreceptor tyrosine-based activation motif or ITAM for short, which is essential for the signaling capacity of the TCR. Regulation Phosphorylation of the ITAM on CD3 renders the CD3 chain capable of binding an enzyme called ZAP70, a kinase that is important in the signaling cascade of the T cell. As a drug target, because CD3 is required for T cell activation, drugs that target it are being investigated as immunosuppressant therapies for type 1 diabetes and other autoimmune diseases. Immunoista chemistry CD3 is initially expressed in the cytoplasm of prothymocytes, the stem cells from which T cells arise in the thymus. The prothymocytes differentiate into common thymocytes, and then into medullary thymocytes, and it is at this latter stage that CD3 antigen begins to migrate to the cell membrane. The antigen is found bound to the membranes of all mature T cells, and in virtually no other cell type although it does appear to be present in small amounts in Purkinje cells. This high specificity, combined with the presence of CD3 at all stages of T cell development, makes it a useful immunoistic chemical marker for T cells and tissue sections. The antigen remains present in almost all T cell lymphomas and leukemias, and can therefore be used to distinguish them from superficially similar B cell and myeloid neoplasms. References Further reading External links, CD3 antigens at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, Mouse CD Antigen Chart, Human CD Antigen Chart.